Today's Gospel, Thursday, July 27, is taken from St. Matthew chapter 13, verses 10 to 17. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, and hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear but not understand. You shall indeed look but never see. Gross is the heart of these people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and be converted. And I heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you. Many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Faithful Reflection is from Sister Kathy Romance from Hand of the Sower Catholic Community. Blessed are you. But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. Verse 16. Lahat tayo may mata at tenga. But not everyone can see and hear the goodness of God. Not everyone can see how God moves in our lives. Not everyone can see how God protects us from hurt and sadness. Not everyone can see that God has a beautiful plan for all. Hindi porket kristyano tayo, automatic na bukas na ang ating mga mata. Piliin nating tinan ang mga magaganda sa bawat tao at pangyayari. And not dwell on the wrong things and bad things. When we choose to see the goodness and grace of God, do natin maikita kung paano siya Gumagalaw. This is the first time na naranig ko yung gospel. Wika ng ibang nag-convert at umalis sa Catholicism. Blessed are we for we have the Eucharistic celebration every day wherein we can openly hear God's message. Blessed are we for we have priests and preachers na pinapaintindi ang mensahe ng Panginoon. Blessed are we, for we have the Blessed Sacrament, a place where we can converse with God as long as we want. What more can we ask? God is speaking to us through the things that are happening around us. Let us choose to see and hear Him today, for He is continuously conversing with us. When we open our eyes, and ears to Him, we will see that He is indeed alive and moving in our lives. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, give us the grace to see and hear God's message for us every day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.